to start out with making something called borsetta di maiale. Isn't that beautiful? Translates to little pork purses. And to do it, we have to start out by making a filling. So that's what I'm doing here. I've got a little bit of olive oil in a frying pan and some leeks that I've minced up with a little bit of fennel. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with leeks, this is a leek. Now, besides my leeks and my fennel, I want to add a little bit of lemon juice to this. So there's about, oh, a tablespoon of lemon juice. And now that's cooked just exactly where I want it. So I can turn this off and finish the rest of my filling. I am eyeing those olives as I'm going along. So here's the leek mixture. And then with this, I want to have some prosciutto. And you know that that is Italian raw cured ham. If you didn't want to use prosciutto, it's a little bit too expensive for your budget, you could always use prosciutto cotto, which is cooked ham. But this is prosciutto crudo, which is raw ham. And then with it, some of that cheese that I got from Sal. This is the Fontina, a very nice melting cheese. And here it is here, and you remember, if you were paying attention, you have to look for the brown rind to know that you're getting authentic Italian Fontina. And then we'll want some herbs with this, and I like thyme with this, un po' di timo. So there's our, our thyme, and a little bit of salt, and a little bit of black pepper. And that's all there is to the pork mixture. And we're going to stuff these. So you need to make a little pocket right in the chop, just like that. You see, you need to make a little pocket so that you can put the filling in. This is where the borsette part of this comes from, the purse part of it. And then take a little bit of that mixture, put it right in there. So I would say take two toothpicks so you make sure that all that filling is going to be held in nicely. So there's my second one. And now we'll close up this one. Then after you have them like that, well, all you have to do now is put them in a bake dish, because these are going to bake in the oven. And these go into the oven without a covering. So now they go into my oven, which is already preheated those to cook for about, oh, 20, 25 minutes. You want to make sure that you have cooked the pork chops through. 